the flow builder will be a new function that will be released alongside our version 2 update. This replaces the existing automation tools that we've set for our version 1 of Sleepflow. Of course, for all settings, you can see to turn on and off the status of the flow builder, you can press the button right here. You can still run the automations that are set in your version 1 for automations, and you can also concurrently use the flow builder to test out new flows. To begin, after turning on the flow builder, you can press create new flow on the right. You can see that we have six different presets that you can use, and also you can start from scratch to set up different automations. For the presets, you can select them and it would directly bring you to the flow builder. In our flow builder, we can add elements by pressing the plus buttons beneath each branch to allow you to either do an action, condition, or add a time delay so that if you want to send a message to a customer that has not talked to you in 10 minutes, you can create a condition that way. Or you can add a time delay to send a reply 10 minutes later after their first initial message. Setting automations this way makes it easier for you to visualize how the flow works. Not only can you set the conditions like you can previously on Sleekflow for automations, you can select them easily by categories such as keywords, contact fields, conversation status, and even channels. And for as for actions, it would show as previously with all the functions that are included on the platform. At the end of the flows, you would see there's a flow end section where you can add a jump to, to allow you to go back or reset to a certain part of the flow. So if a person selects choice one and you would like them to reach the end of the flow and reset back to the previous flow, they can choose jump to node, a certain node, and once they've completed a flow, they can jump over to action one. So in this case, if a customer has a contact field, or if it's anything else, it would still send the income message to allow them to select the store location, the products, and the contact us button. And by creating these branches, you can create different flows that would usually, for our previous automations, be separate automation rules. So now you can create your flow in one interface simply by building on the flow builder.